Hi. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We are carving up some pumpkins. Carving it up. Carving it up for Halloween. So stay tuned and see what we come up with. That's right. We're also live streaming, so if you hear us talking to random people, you're not random. they're awesome followers of ours. So yeah, these are my people, those are your people. Okay. Alright, anyway, here we go. Thanks for hanging out. So, um, uh, I'll try to read your comments, but you are a little far away. So Jess is what we do is we have a special. We we get really into pumpkin. Yeah, so I hardcore. We <laughs> a couple of years ago, I started. I take a pr I take find an image that I like. That's an outline on the internet, as you can see over there, and I have it hooked up to my projector sitting on the counter over there. And then what we do is we shine it on the pumpkin so that it it takes on the size and shape of the pumpkin and we adjust it on the computer where exactly we want it on the pumpkin. Then we trace it on the pumpkin, uh, color it in in a certain way so that we know what parts to cut and what parts to leave. And then once we finish that, we take it off of the pumpkin, well, we you know turn the projector off and then we get to carving. We're not gonna show you carving tonight because carving is really boring. It takes a while. It is, well, mine is Disney related, so if you guys, yes. I think I just told you what it is. Because, yes, she did. She said that her pumpkin is, uh, oh, she's from Brazil. That's well, awesome. don't tell them what my pumpkin is. So uh, okay, well, know. we'll see if somebody can guess. I'm not going to do mine freehand. I'm going to wait for the projector. Um, so he's going to talk to you while I... Uh, yeah. So yeah, move and this way a little did, bit so oh, everybody can see you. Well, they can't see, they can't see you if I... Oh, keep I'm not... Coming, keep coming. Okay. Hi, you do. When you carve a pumpkin, you really need to listen to the pumpkin itself because the pumpkin will tell you what it wants you to make it into. <laughs> so if, it's kind of like like if you if you put your ear to the pumpkin, uh, it will like the you can, like people can hear the, like ocean the ocean in shells. Pumpkins will whisper. It's the spirit of Halloween. Me. It will say, "I want to be," and then it'll give you a, an Come icon or something interesting, and it's and it's really your destiny. To make it look that way, to fulfill, make sure this pumpkin, you know, it's the end of its life as an invade. Now it gets really boring where we do all the sketching and the carving, but we'll let you know what the final result is. I'm doing a classic Halloween character who doesn't get enough recognition in my opinion. He is Halloweenish to a point, and then he just gets forgotten about it. He never gets mentioned. He is the Headless Horseman. That's awesome. And I love Washington Irving's original short story. Um, it's a classic, and it's a tale as old as time. Just kidding. It's not being the beast. Um, if that's but, in Beauty and the Beast, uh, yeah. I'm watching the wrong movie. Right? <laughs> um, but no, I, I think it's a really cool character. I love the short that Disney made uh, along with Mr. Toad. I felt like it deserves its own movie. It did get a good movie with Tim Burton, but uh, I feel like it, it just begs to be redone well. Like, not that Tim Burton was great. I loved it. It's just a story that you can keep doing so much with. It, it is something that I would like to see rebooted versus other stuff that it keep getting it keeps getting rebooted and it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man 24. What? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, I wanted to pay homage to a really cool Halloween character that you never see enough of. I think that's really cool. Alright guys, currently pulling all of the pumpkin guts out. Beautiful. We've got some music, so... It's a party now. Now generally, I use what's called Rotozip, or like a normal type of team to deal with. However, this year I'm trying to even the playing field and not give myself such an amazing advantage. You know, it does produce some amazing results.
All right. Here we have Hey Hey, Maui, Moana, and Pua. Let's see how it looks in the dark with a candle. All right, here we go. Here's the finished product. We've got Maui, Moana, Pua, whose eye is a little bit too big, but that's okay. And Hey Hey with his crooked eyes. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. I think it looks really cool.